recently I Hate Everything made a video where he talked about the subreddit, the gaming subreddit, and one of the points, like, even though I disagreed with him quite a few things, with quite a few things, one of the points that he did mention was the problem with EA and how we always just shit on them and laugh at them and so forth, but there's always someone that's going out and buying their games, even though they hate them, and that's a problem, so I wanted to talk about that. So if you hate them so much, you shouldn't really support them, you shouldn't really give them any money, even if it's just for the game or whatever. Coverage is a bit different, even though there's a debate going whether all coverage is good coverage or not, even which I'd side between that. You can spin it good, but bad coverage is bad. But anyway, you shouldn't really support them or give them money, obviously, even though some people do, which then there should be someone asking, oh, but Pat, what about the developers? Well, here's the thing. If the developers really were in such a bad situation and didn't want to be where they are, then they just go independent and stop working with EA. So all you can really do there is give them a heads up and be like, you know, you, you should, probably should just go independent and not work with them. And pass that, then you're just going to have to stick to your guns and not support them because EA is just always going to be pulling this shit and they always have been so you just got to stop giving them money you, you can blacklist them if you if you got something like Steam you can do this for different publishers I don't think if they've got a curator page I don't think EA does because now they're using their own site which thank god for PC players because then they have to go out of their way to find them with console versions however you, you, uh, you just have to stop buying anything with the name EA on it because I do it myself and I don't want people to start thinking that I'm suggesting boycotting even because even though I do generally tend to side with boycotting for certain things, it, it's also kind of a bad thing and it's a controversy unto itself and I'm just not willing to get into. In this instance, if you're really that against EA, like I am, and you hate it and you think that it's stifling innovation and, and ruining the industry as a whole, well, they don't really give a shit what you've got to say about them. insulting them or whatever. It's just simply not enough because they've already gotten to awards for how bad they are and they're still gone 10 years off. So I think you know you're just gonna have to blacklist them and just stop buying their stuff just simply like i do because money is the only thing that's going to matter to them and someone's still out there buying the game so sure is that shit ain't me just something to think about as a different way to deal with the situation of ea crazy idea i know voting with your wallet but it might be worth your time to actually try and do now there's a pretty meme exquisite Give it to